Hey, Dan with Guardian Mold Prevent. Uh, I wanted to take a look with you today at an attic space located in Burbank, Illinois. Uh, this is the underside of the roof sheathing uh, in a home that has been placed on the market. The uh, sellers of the house were very um, excited that they had a buyer at the table. The buyer brought in their home inspector, and during the home inspection, amongst other things, they found that there was mold growing on the underside of the roof sheathing. You can see that it's OSB type plywood, so it's a uh, pressed board uh, with uh, what appears to be leopard staining or uh, discoloration that is developed as a result of poor ventilation and insulation working together to cause condensation in the attic. Now, I want to look with you at this diagram. Uh, this diagram is actually what your attic ventilation is supposed to look like. You can see that at the lower portions of the overhang, uh, there are vents that are cut into the roof that allow for cool air, especially in the winter time, to get up into the attic space and force any warm air that gets into the attic up and out through the upper ventilation. You can see that you're meant to have a good insulation barrier on the upper ceiling in your home so that the house heat is kept down and out. When house heat gets into the attic space, if it's not moved out properly, then it gets uh, stagnant against the ice-cold roofing members and causes condensation because it reaches dew point. Now I took a shot of, of this power attic fan and as you can see if you look closely on the right hand side there's a box there. It has two switches, a white switch and a black switch. This box is actually a control that determines when this power attic fan kicks on. Now this fan is not working um, and it's probably a good reason why this, this attic developed mold. But this fan was meant to kick on both in the summertime when the heat gets very high, but it also has a humidistat switch on it, which means that when the humidity in the attic space reaches a certain level, that fan will kick on. I also took a quick uh, little clip here. You can see a silver line running uh, diagonally across the screen, and that is actually the bathroom exhaust fan. This exhaust fan is running out to a soffit where it's not connected and the warm air is actually working its way back up into the attic space and causing more problems. Now after the remediation process is finished, this is what the attic space looks like. Uh, what we did was we came in and treated everything with a biocide, which is a product that kills mold on contact. We then physically scrubbed down all of the surfaces of the attic and then treated it with a white acrylic based mold resistant coating. Uh, that coating comes with a 10-year manufacturer's warranty, and we leave our air equipment running overnight just to make sure that we pull any of the mold spores uh, out of the air uh, from the actual project itself. Now, this is a home where we performed these services, and the uh, seller was able to go to closing and sell the house because they appeased the requests of the buyer to have the mold remediated. <laughs>